build up to this semi-final game has been fabulously colourful. The prize is vast. It is time to walk the walk. There's the whistle and here we go. Tevez. Matistuta pushes it out wide. Up he gets! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Just, it seems, but just is enough. So what now? Beautifully done. And a header! Not offside that time. Yeah, a defence that likes to play a, a high line and they're not disappointing. Nothing. Feltman tries to stroke it through. That is Stuta. And it's Messi. Messi plays it out to the flank. Gets it back. It's a loose ball. Hits one! Argentina! Argentina are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Argentina give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Tries a through ball. He's got away. Gets it. Shoots! That's it! And that has been clubbed away. Turns and goes back. The shot's on! taken goal and already they're looking to run away with it look there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance Argentina take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Half time in the semi-final. How would you review the first half? Argentina just didn't want the half-time whistle to be blown. Convincing and controlled. Argentina go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. Already up and running for the second half. <laughs> Aimed long and direct. Now a chance to break. Now the pass. Up to meet it! It's anyone's ball. Tries to get it forward quickly. Pereja goes looking. Shot Crespo! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Time for changes on both sides, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Otamendi plays it forward. And he heaves it forward. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not... He's had a shot! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And they are pulling clear here! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Rapidly approaching the end. They have one foot in the final. Pereja goes on a run down the left wing. There will be a throw-in. Argentina have decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Mauro Icardi! Disappointing finish in the end. That's that. Surely the best preparation for the final. A th